Alrighty, so welcome back to American Scop, and uh, today I have a very special review. Um, I, maybe I wouldn't even call it a full-on review, um, mostly just because I have something that's not fully working, just like many of my other possessions in my collection. But today, I'm going to be taking a look at the uh, Electronica Mach 37 calculator. It's a Soviet-era calculator. This model is actually the just the 37, not the 37A, and uh, it is from my model at least, instead of from 1988. Mine was produced in 1990, um, so October 1990. <sighs> I've been waiting for this thing for at least a couple months because of some uh, miscommunications and confusions with post, and so... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, I was not really expecting it today, but since it's here, uh, I thought I'd give it uh, a little review. And, uh, the box itself is in pretty good quality, besides the fact that the top literally comes off. Um, taking the calculator out, I will put it here so you can look at that. This, uh, this also comes with all the original manuals and papers. Now... The front cover here, or that's not the front cover, that looks like the back. This is the front cover. These have been slightly damaged, um, if it would focus, there we go. Slightly damaged over time, but uh, I don't think there's much I can do about that, so. I did give all of these documents and the box a high quality scan, and they will be available somehow in the description, so I'd give it a look if you want to check that out. Uh, it comes with the manual here, which is um, pretty long, inclusive of almost everything you might want to know about the calculator. And I think, yep, I didn't take this out. It also comes with a diagram of everything on the inside. And it looks like at least parts of this might have been hand-drawn. There's stamps for quality control, everything. This calculator itself it looks, um, for some reason under this type of light, kind of like a light blue kind of plastic, but um, I've seen it more as a white color. Uh, the display itself is a VFD, um, I think it's like a Nixie tube kind of technology, um, or it's red, it's like interesting. The battery compartment is actually hidden back here in the back, which I just have some double A's in there. And uh, you have a weird... AC adapter, which uh, I will include at um, some sort of up-close photo. Okay, so getting into the calculator itself, to turn it on, you just flip the switch, and uh, it takes a second to initialize, and then you should be able to type a character. And I don't know if you can see. Uh, maybe if I turn off this light. So as you can see, we have uh, the calculator on here, and I'll just type in some functions. So the only issue, and I'll show you, you'll see here, is uh, if you type in characters, you'll notice the center part of the VFD is dead. Now, um, that's kind of an issue for me, but it's, uh, it's hopefully fixable. I, I'm not quite sure about that one, but... Um, I think to a certain extent I could maybe order some new tubes and see what I could do, but um, in the meantime I thought I'd uh, show you some of the other functions it has. This is qualified as a scientific calculator, so um, if I do go in here and take the square root of 2, which you can't see the center part, and multiply it by, I think this is square root, yep. Uh, it's hard to see the yellow paint. If you multiply the square root of 2 by the square root of 2, you will see this calculator isn't as accurate as some of the newer calculators, obviously, but <laughs> uh, it should come out as 2, but this one comes out as 1.99999. Earlier I saw it as 1.99999998. So, um, and another one you can try is um, 1, like, uh, divided by 9... I'll just equal there, and then multiply it by 9, which if this is correct, it should be 1, but it's 0 .99999, so as you can see, um, it's not completely accurate, um, but uh, 
Yeah, it, it, does, it does its job. I mean, 9 times 9, 81. It kind of looks like 91 from here, but if you turn your head, it's kind of hard to tell. There you go. So as you can see, that is 81 right there. It's a little bit out of focus, but uh, that's the best I could get. So um, flipping the calculator off. So coming back to the screen here, um, that'll definitely need some repairs. Uh, but we'll just look over the body here and see what we have available. You have your power switch over here. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this switch actually does. But it feels almost as if it has three functions, but well, I'll have to test that. Uh, you have clear. Uh, it looks like maybe clear function. Here's a function button. Some of these characters are in Russian, so I'm not quite sure what everything is. But you have sin, cos, uh, square root. Um, looks like some exponents here. Fairly general stuff. I should be able to turn this on. I know you won't be able to see this, but I should be able to test this function. Oh, you can kind of see it. Oh. I guess that is 32. Maybe. Let me test it here. Oh, yeah. It is. It's just quite hard to see in the light. 32, and I think I should be able to do this. And and that is actually correct, so I um, did a pretty good job with that. So, um, yeah, this calculator is good in some ways, but, you know, uh, <laughs> for 1990 and Soviet technology, yeah, it, it, was, it was pretty good. Um, and I'll definitely be attempting to open this thing up at some point, doing some sort of repair log or journal or something. I don't know what I'm going to call it. But, um... Yeah, I'll definitely be covering this soon. Um, check for scans of all of these documents. They're actually really neat to look through, even though I don't speak much Russian. Uh, I, I don't read much Russian either, so, you know, um, my Mach 37, that's, that's a new one for my collection. So, uh, stay tuned. I have more reviews and episodes coming. Um, definitely some interesting calculator uh, videos, so just be on the lookout for that, and... Thanks for watching. Um, see you later. American Scott.